Kenya's second largest cement maker, Arthur River Mining Cement, has today announced a 304% jump in pre-tax profits. That is for the first nine months of the year, boosted largely by sales of is cement. Surrender Bati is now with us, Deputy Managing Director at Arthur River Mining. He's with us from Tanga in Tanzania. Your turnover is up 29% to 7.74 billion shillings in the third quarter and your pre-tax profit sitting at a very comfortable 1.2 billion. Very good results. Tell us a little more about what drove this. Well, uh, you know, our turnover grew by about 30%. Uh, the growth in the turnover was mainly driven by our cement expansion. Uh, last year, we completed our uh, plant in Athi River. We have just completed our plant in Dar es Salaam. And the new capacities uh, and the market penetration allowed us to grow our turnover in the cement business by about 50%. Uh, cement today is about 70% uh, of our total turnover. And so that's what's grown our top line there. Uh, the top line has uh, grown by 30%, and the uh, uh, profit after tax has uh, proportionately grown. Uh, profit before taxes is also prof uh, proportionately grown. So the growth, which you see in our figures, is essentially driven by the cement business expansion in Kenya. And so Kenya is still doing comfortably well. You're expecting an uptake, an increase in the demand for rhino cement, but also this new plant in Tanzania that you've been talking about for the last financial year or so, coming finally on stream. What are your expectations? Well, uh, the Tanzanian uh, plant has been commissioned in the end of September. Uh, so the last quarter would see a full uh, full quarter of performance from the Tanzanian plant. Uh, the Tanzanian plant's capacity is twice the capacity of Kenya. Uh, the plant which has been commissioned is the grinding unit in the Dar es Salaam. Now, we expect this plant to run to full capacity next year. Uh, in the first month itself, we are running close to 50% of our capacity. Uh, these would uh, add a significant amount to our turnover and to our profit before tax. Um, we expect in the next two years our turnover to double and uh, see a proportionate increase in our profit before tax figures. You had this at this same period last year an unrealized foreign exchange loss of 681 million shillings. The Kenya shilling has since um, strengthened significantly, and you've turned this into a gain of 45 million. I, the currency is just one of the things you're looking at, but give us a sense of your projections taking into account this as well. You know, last year uh, we had indicated that uh, this foreign exchange loss, which we had provided for in our PNL was an unrealized exchange loss. Uh, our uh, company um, exports close to $25 million worth of products all over East Africa. Uh, these are dollar-based commodities and dollar-based sales. Uh, so uh, the dollar-based revenue allows us to hedge our dollar-based borrowings. Now, as per the IFR rules, last year we had provided for the loss though it was not a realized loss. Now, this year, because we have uh, dollar-based revenue, not only have we uh, been able to recover the provided losses because of the currency, because we export significantly higher than uh, what are our dollar-based uh, liabilities, this year we have had a foreign exchange gain. Now, in our uh, financials, in our business model, what we have done is built up a natural hedge between our dollar-based earnings and our dollar-based liabilities, which ensures that over a period of time, over the medium term and over the long term, the company does not encourage, uh, get a dollar-based uh, foreign exchange loss. It would always be, at the end of a period, a dollar-based gain which the uh, company would have. You return very quickly. No. The Why return on the stock year to date is about 48.7%. Just about a fortnight ago, you closed at 235 shillings, which is a new year high. Talk to us very briefly about the share. I'm sure you like its direction. Uh, well, uh, uh, can, can I request you to repeat that question? I didn't get it correctly. My apologies. I'll, I was talking about the share which closed at 235 last week, a new year high. Year to date, the return on that stock is about 48%. I'm sure you like the direction of the share? Yes. 
Well, uh, you know, as the management of the company, one thing which we uh, we do definitely monitor as to how the share price is moving. But uh, we just monitor it. We don't get involved in the share price. It's listed on the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Now, I believe that, uh, you know, the share price is a fair reflection of the capacities and the earning potential which the company has. If you look at it, in the next two years, the company's turnover would probably double. And therefore, the share price movement, which we have seen this year, is probably a reflection of uh, confidence of the investors in the company, in its ability to put up capacity, in its ability to put up capacity at a low price, in its ability to penetrate the market and take up the capacity from production. So I would uh, feel that the share price movement is quite an accurate reflection of what they see uh, the company is moving in which direction. And with the doubling of the turnover, the share price movement is just capturing uh, the future potential of the company.